All right, Metcalf, everyone's been paying attention. We did Scoot Henderson. We did Amen Thompson for these playmaking videos. But I think one name that is starting to kind of warm up my heart and I'm very, very intrigued with and excited to see where he ends up on draft night is Anthony Black of Arkansas. I, I know everyone's been focusing on some areas of his game when it comes to is the outside shot going to come around? I feel like we're ta talking about that with 30 different prospects. But I think Anthony Black's got the tools to be a potential star from this class. And I think the playmaking is something that maybe gets slept on. I know we always like to talk about him as a very good playmaker, but I think it's even better than people might realize. Yeah, and just the, the size makes such a big difference with a guy like him. Um, you know, we've seen it with Franz Wagner. We've seen it with Josh Giddy, We've seen it with SGA. You know, the, the, it's a long, long list of how important and how the, just a guy's size and just his physicality and strength is. I mean, here, this feels pretty routine, but it's just such a high level of composure. It's bully ball. It's easy and it's replicable which is i think the big thing with a lot of what anthony black does none of it feels like a oh he got lucky there it's oh that was intentional that was repeatable that's something he's worked on and that's something he's done before i mean you could argue that was defended extremely well and then it's that's just patience and creating understanding again we talk about tight windows we've talked about it with a man we've talked about it with scoop but i think anthony black has that same ability. I think it's just the passes aren't always as flashy as the mm -hmm. other two guys we've mentioned. And I think in some ways I like that more because it's just the right reads. It's just making the simple play. Like what Kevin Garnett's been praising lately on all of his pods. He's been like, basketball needs to be simple. These guys, these young guns are making it too difficult. And I think Anthony Black is kind of that vibe of he just makes life simple on the court. And you know, we've seen all these plus size playmakers. I've, I've talked about it, uh, my piece on Anthony Black at NoSealingsNBA.com. Like, there's such a wave of guys that have come in and had success, like Josh Giddy, Lonzo Ball, Lamelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton. Like those plus size guys that just offer fantastic basketball IQ and vision. Yeah, and so you mentioned this is good defense. So, yeah. you know, initially great jab step and to and attack against the. The, against the closeout a lot of defenders anthony black would blow past here but i think that's her field you know gets yeah. back stays in front of him bodies him up stays between him and the rim it's really tough but he's so small that that forces the center to step up and now as you know black spins back out of that uh both weak side defenders are out of position because now the one guarding Jordan Walsh has to take a step back towards in case he has to recover to, you know, quote unquote shooter. And the center is stepping to black to take away what, what would be almost a wide open floater. Anthony just effortless, effortlessly reads all of that and then just gets the ball right to his guy where he can finish through contact. And I think you can, you know, we always say like spacing opens up when you get to the NBA level and <laughs> Arkansas had terrible spacing all year yeah. and I think you could just see this like they're not surrounded by a lot of shooters right there and, and no disrespect to Jordan Walsh and Ricky Council but those guys are not known as floor spacing assets so this makes that play even more impressive and then the idea of he's going to get to the NBA and there's going to be additional spacing and, and that's going to make life almost seem bigger it's going to be like he's looking at an ocean all of a sudden through instead of just a window so I I just love him I think I'm really excited to see Ooh. All right, Metcalf, hit me with this one. We'll keep that on. I mean, everyone needs that sound effect, but my goodness. Yeah, I mean, just what he did out of the pick and roll this year and setting up guys on the interior was so impressive. Um, that That's just elite high-level eye manipulation and moving defenders with his eyes because it comes off the screen, good screen, good contact, good separation, forces the defender to step. Defender does a good job of taking away his space, forces him to peel back, and kill his dribble. He initially scans top of the arc. That forces 12, I think that's Milo Susan, to bail on the roller. He then scans over to Jordan Walsh, which freezes the other weak side defender before setting up his teammate. I mean, it, it's just, it's like a quarterback going through his progressions and with lightning speed under pressure. Small window again. I mean, we, I, I think what makes me so intrigued with Anthony Black is 
there's physicality and patience off the dribble. There's not, you know, he's not going to panic and get overwhelmed when you right in his face. Like when you're smothering him and you see it right here. Like he has every reason right there with a young guard to be like, okay, let me get this ball up top and let's kind of reset. Instead, he just stays patient, surveys, like you said, go through your reads, finds a wide open big man for an easy two. But that's just patience. Read it, good. All right, Metcalf, hit me with this one. We get some pick and roll action. Yeah, so again, just good, good screen comes off it, separation from his defender, and now he's able to attack downhill where the drop defender, you know, he's giving him space, so Anthony's going to take it. Uh, what I really like here is kind of what you mentioned before with the patience, where he puts his defender in jail, backs up into him a little bit before then again accelerating into that space, forces both defenders to go with him, and then he just throws up a soft little lob right on the rim for his teammate to tip in. And that looks so simple, but I think it's important to understand, like, if Anthony Black comes off of that screen and doesn't pause, his big man, his man, his rolling man, is probably not going to be in position to get this lob. It's going to make it easier on the defense. So just that slight hesitation allows his man to get more of an angle, get in the play, and I just love it. I think it's just the simple stuff right there. Like, yeah, you're you're making sure that both the help defender and the primary defender are coming with you. And once you confirm that they're both biting, then you just have an easy decision. And, and that hesitation not only puts his defender in jail here, but it also forces the low man there to bail on the roller and yes. get back out to the shooter, which frees up um, 15 for just the, the the completely uncontested role. I don't think you got touched on that. This, if you need like a two game stretch to sell yourself on Anthony Black, you, you got to go watch him Maui Invitational. I mean, those games alone, the world was going on fire about Anthony Black. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh gosh, if this is what we're getting all year, this is a top five pick. And obviously he cooled off a little bit, but you know, a similar name went crazy at the Maui gym. And that one was Anthony Edwards Metcalf. And that was like, everyone was questioning all year, like, I don't know. And then I was like, just go back and watch these games. These are the games that tells you what this kid can do when he's cooking. And I feel like I keep coming back to Anthony Black, like when everything was fire and this is what we got. So what, what did you like about this play? The, again, the patience. And that's yep. what that's the through line with so much of how he plays is it's under control and it's patient. So as he comes off the screen here, obviously, in an ideal world, he's pulling up and knocking that down because he just has about 10 feet of space. But he's not that shooter, at least yet. So, you know, a little hesitation, attacks downhill again, leaves his feet, which gets both Alexander and Kalkbrenner in the air because Kalkbrenner has completely lost track of his guy. Black just lets his momentum carry him out of bounds to change that angle before shoveling that off to his teammate. <laughs> This is just like freakish. Like you have to understand the floor, what's going to happen. There's a lot of trust. There's a lot of trust with your own read and your own vision. But what what do you like, Mikhail? I mean, that crossover for starters. Is, yes. Whew. Pretty vicious. Bye. Goodness, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. And now it's, all right, let me go explore every inch of this floor. I'm just going to snake across the free throw line. And I don't like that, but you're kind of, biting now so now i'm going to attack downhill and now i know that you're the center and you're out of position and that my teammate has my defender on him now so that's an advantageous setup and from here i'm assuming that he sees out of the corner of his eye that his guy has the seal but he needs to change that angle a little better so he takes it down throws a, a pseudo lob to his teammate who has that inside seal and position I mean, that has to be, that has to be perfect. Like some people might be like, that's a careless pass. And it's like, well, the situation's also important. You know, they're down big to, they're almost getting upset and you got to make something happen. So that's what Anthony Black tries to do. Like he basically, like you said, he's checking out every single inch of this court he possibly can to make this assist. And I, I just absolutely love it. I think that's recognition, understanding also that you, the, Initial screens getting switched on to a smaller guy, so you probably have the chances, the high percentage to 
successfully get this past your teammate. Yeah, and like, I don't think this is as much of a gamble as it necessarily looks like right, because right. It, it's really cluttered in there. But as he's making that pass, he knows that his teammate has that seal and that that def- that his initial defender is essentially out of the play. Then he looks at this other interior defender and he's seen that that guy's basically sealed off. So I think that window is a little bigger or the gap between all three of these defenders and his teammate is a little bigger than it initially looks like because first viewing it's like god he is chucking that up into traffic without a care in the world but i think it's a lot more measured than that okay metcalf i absolutely love this one i had to i had to go down to the the secret files the archives to bring this out so i wanted to play this first for you but this is earlier in the year with maui gem and, and this is just like freakish read um i mean <laughs> this is the two game stretch he's going nuts Things are cooking. We're going to get Anthony coming up at the top of the key. He's going to come off this, you know, this action right here. And like, when you first watched this, I was like, okay, he doesn't look like he's going to have much. Maybe he has this wrap around here to the weak side wing, or he's going to try to throw it into the corner of Jordan Walsh. Never in my mind did he think <laughs> he was throwing this opposite corner off a live dribble. That's, I mean, that's just sensational vision. And right in the shooter's pocket. I mean, what did you, what did you like about it? Yeah, so I know, as he comes off that screen, um, pa- pause it once he st- kind of starts attacking downhill. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to run. Jordan Wallace, we're giving him some face time here. So here we go. We get... So pause it right. here. It'd be really easy for him to get baited into making that bounce pass to the roller. Mm-hmm. Because, it, you know, as you're coming around that as you're turning the corner there it looks like he's coming into space and three's probably lifting out to the wing but that weak side defender is coming from behind him and it's a good rotation by him and i think a lot of young freshman guards will get baited into making that bounce pass and they'll get picked off going the other way instead he keeps going makes that defender take the a couple steps even further in and then makes that pass over the top to the space that he just left yeah, and I think you you could also there's a world in which when I've watched this the first time I was like he's gonna come around this and try to attack the basket mm-hmm. and get and try to almost like get to the line, but I think the recognition of getting right here with how the whole floor is right now with the defense, just being able to see that over the top, you know, is unbelievable. And I mean, his big man thought he was gonna try to throw a lob here. I mean, he <laughs> points for it like, hey, throw it up, all right, and. No, just a frozen rope to the corner. And it's right in the shooting pocket. It's absolutely perfect for Ricky Council to yes. get right into a shot without any alterations. All right, Metcalf, this is another one. Obviously, Arkansas is blowing out Louisville in this game, but um, I think it really was impressive. Of You kind of almost saw all the vibes for Anthony Black were just – the confidence was cooking, mm-hmm. as I've said before, but, like, it was – it wasn't just him taking over on the offensive side of the ball because he had a two-game stretch. I think he had over 20 points a game. But he was just, like, he had the goggles. He had the goggles going of just, like, playmaking goggles. He was throwing dimes everywhere. Um, I love this play. We get a high little pick-and-roll action. And another play where you kind of think that nothing's really creating, but I think it's the patience by Anthony Black to kind of understand, like, okay, I could go to top right here. And instead, he anticipates that this passing window is opening up. Just throws an absolute dime. Yeah, and it, it, it's it's really similar to the clip that we just watched. But again, he's reading that low man from the corner and basing his entire decision on what that guy does. And I think he, he kind of looks off and looks out to Jordan Walsh and reads that that weak side defender is planting his foot in the paint moving to recover and he just looks him off and feeds feeds the roller um for the easy dunk because he is because he's not only made that skip pass before right for the wide open three but now he's faking and manipulating the defender into thinking that he's doing that again and instead just making the easier pass for the easier shot and i think like you just said like the defense just saw him throw this opposite corner dime yeah to ricky console in the last clip we showed so this 
baseline hope guys like okay i can't completely buy into this because it's gonna leave walsh and even if it's not a floor spacing asset you don't want to give a wide open shot and it was also very early in the season so you know right 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 reports on these guys aren't necessarily out yet and and you could try to go to the top to trevon brazil which i think a lot of people would think that that's Mm -hmm. where this pass is going but instead just a great great field yeah, and, and 12 was eager to get back out to Brazil there, which is why that guy was even, you know, it w- was another reason why that guy was so wide open. Right, Maybe. right. Anticipation. I mean, that's what you're saying. He's anticipating this guy's tagging this role, man. But yeah, so he's like, I can't. Right yeah, here, right yeah. here. He He's reading both those defenders making moves to get back to their men and leaving and leaving the roller wide open. Right. That's just great anticipation because also you're saying like Anthony's got two here. So he's like, someone's going to have to bite. Right. And And he knows there are two in the corner. So it's three Mm -hmm. on two on the weak side. And it's all right. I'm going to look off, read where those guys are planting their feet and preparing to move. And then I'm just going to counter it. 